Well, I'm here today to urge all of us to think differently about data. Be unconventional. The conventional wisdom about data today goes something like this. People create tons of data by living our lives online. The big players grab hold of that data. They store it, they track it, they monitor it, they aggregate it, they offer it back to us, they sell it, they monetize it. Application developers access this data through the big players. They become the points of control over our data. We create data by living online, but we become disintermediated from it. We don't control it. We might, in fact, own it in some way, but we don't have access to it. We don't know what it is. We can't combine it. And customization and personalization, some of the great offerings of the web, become knobs and dials on the data packets that the points of control create. I might be able to turn my privacy up or down, but that's the degree of control I have over the data and what happens to it. Now, this is a very 20th century view of the world. We have essentially created giant data factories with automated processes where each one of us is treated in the same way through the same automated process. This allows the data factories to get to scale and it allows the prov provision of user experiences that can be exciting and interesting. But it is, at heart, an industrial era process where the information we create, our data is packaged up, we get it back as an experience, and it becomes a product. And I am the same product as you and as each one of us. The data packet looks the same, we have the same experience, and along the outside there may be some preferences or dials or things that, that the data factory allows me to change after the fact. But the core process of my data footprint, who I am, lives as part of the data factory's process. Now, this means, of course, that the customization all lives within inside a single model. And if we're really lucky, maybe there'll be two or three or four or five data factories, and so we get some competition among them. But this is a highly centralized, very 20th century style. So let's think differently about data for a minute. What could data be? What is a platform that represents the promise of the web looking forward? And in that world, I am the platform. And you are the platform for your data. And the collection of data about me from various different places lives in under my control. Now, that's a complicated setting, and many of us don't want to spend a lot of time thinking too much about our data. So we may choose to become essentially routers, where I might say a bunch of data that's very public and very social, it should live over here. And the big points of control and the platforms would provide services. I might say my professional data should live someplace different, where the processes are different and it's handled differently. My very intimate data, my health data, I might send someplace else. And what that allows, if I become the platform, that allows the big data providers, the points of controls, to continue to operate at scale, to do what they do so well, to provide experiences that we like that have customization around the edges, but not at the core. And it allows the economic generation of the giant players. At the same time, it allows specialty players or smaller players. It allows the sorts of use of data that Anne was describing, that I would choose to use my data, not just to end up in uh, big pharma studies, but to use it in smaller, different areas that may be developed over time. So we would have both the, the large players, the points of control we see today, and we would have a space which allows development of new players and niche players. We would have the ability to have more peer-to-peer -peer interaction, and we would allow the kinds of innovation that we have seen across the web. Now, of course, this is, uh, it's, not of the 20th century. It's much more looking forward of the web. We don't have all of this infrastructure today. We at Mozilla are building the building blocks for a setting where I can be the center of my life. 
So you might take a look at some of those, identity at Mozilla or apps at Mozilla. But, but whether you are interested in Mozilla or join Mozilla or not, I urge you, when we think about data, think differently. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much.